hi everybody. It is March 19, 2019. I am sorry that I got an email from a subscriber in Houston, but I opened the first one that I saw. She had emailed me earlier. I didn't know that this fire in Houston was going on now for three days. Three days. It is taking place at the Intercontinental Terminals uh, Company. Here's a little uh, information about this ITC, the Deer Park facility. ABC 13 looks at the bright side, spotlighting Houston area hometowns. Positive stories that make our local communities even more special. It's called HDX Plus. Look for it on ABC 13 and ABC13.com. You are very special, Houston. You get flooded out regularly. You have these chemical fires now. It is unbelievable what is happening here. So when you see these videos, um, does, does it look like this is fine? Does it look like the air is fine in Houston? Well, that's what they are claiming. This has been going on for three days. And the other email that I opened, um, I got a lot of links, which I'm going to be uh, going through some of them with you. They are claiming that the air quality is just fine, just swell. Um, and this is Har Harris County in Houston. And my subscriber lives on the other side of Harris County. and. She said the smoke is there. She's had a headache all day long. Look at, look at this. Look at this. And they're claiming that this is going to go on um, for another 24 hours. This is the uh, ITC spokeswoman. Good afternoon. And this was on the 17th, so this was two days ago. And listen to what she says. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Alice Richardson. I'm the PIO for ITC, Intercontinental Terminals Company. This, this is David Waskell. He is our Senior Vice President of Operations. We are here to give you each a 3.30 update, the fire at ITC. Officials are attempting to control the fire using foam. The chemical being burnt is naphtha, which is... Okay, foam, by the way. Um, I didn't realize this, but Congress just passed legislation to not require airports to use foam. Why? Because foam, this firefighting foam, contains chemicals linked to... Um, Cancer, low birth weight, other diseases, and guess what? It is found in water supplies all over the country. It's uh, PFAS. Um, so this foam that firefighters use to put out uh, fires, particularly petroleum fires gets into the ground and it's uh, toxic for the environment. Which is a component of gasoline. Air monitoring is being done by authorities 
and ITC. Harris County Pollution Control and Harris County Hazmat is on the scene and they are evaluating the air quality and we are awaiting their results. As of 3.30, we are fighting the fire defensively in order to ensure that it does not spread. An evacuation has not been ordered at this time. However, the city of Deer Park continues with a shelter in place and encourage, we encourage all residents to continue to stay indoors. Stay indoors. Shelter is already um, available should you need it. No evacuations yet. Two days later, they are claiming that this is perfectly fine. This is not hazardous to your health. Well, listen to this report. Give you a quick lay of the land where I am in Deer Park. Over this shoulder, you can see that thick black plume of smoke. Over this shoulder is really the closest air monitoring station. What the public doesn't know is that for hours, it failed to transmit critical pieces of information. And you might say the same about Harris County public officials. More than 24 hours after the thick black smoke started hovering over tens of thousands of us, we're still missing basic information like... What are we being exposed to exactly? How long does the public have to wait? So the information right now is the TCEQ that's already public. That's not completely accurate because the TCEQ air monitoring station in Deer Park is not even collecting timely data. There are plenty of gaps. And we appeared to break that news to the head of Harris County Pollution Control as he was telling us how great the air monitoring stations are. The chemicals that we're concerned about that could be in that plume that's floating over our heads. But, sir, the Deer Park Monitor hasn't reported since 5 a.m. Well, they're sometimes are down for maintenance. Perhaps more <laughs> shocking is not oh one God. official. Don't you think that mm, they might have kept uh, those air monitors going when there is a chemical fire? And you, don't you think, oh, well, sometimes they're down for maintenance. Are you kidding me? Oh, my God, we've got to get rid of these people. And please, how could you possibly believe any government official? I, I just don't anymore. I don't anymore. That woman who first spoke, which is Hild Hildegato or something, Okay, I've got information about her too, but hang on. People in this group seems to have actually laid eyes on the raw air quality data that is being collected, stuff the public has not seen. Do you yourself possess that data? Do you have the knowledge? Right now, we I've been told from the folks that are collecting it and analyzing that it is uh, standard, it is nothing over the normal. You'll have to trust the county judge who is trusting someone else because the company responsible for this mess, Intercontinental Terminals Company, known as ITC, had not shared their own findings with elected officials in time for this afternoon press conference. Do we have your assurance that when you get that ITC data that you will pass it along to us and the public? We, so the ITC is releasing the results. In this incident, they're focused on, uh, you know, they're, they're the leads in the response. <laughs> okay. Oh, by 27 years old, a Democrat, I have, I'm going to just talk about that woman in just a second. Late this afternoon, ITC did release that so-called third-party air quality report. As Robert mentioned, it is dated. Coming up at 6 o'clock, we're going to take a close... Okay. This is uh, the new county judge. Come on, computer. Thank you. Yes. Are you having computer problems continually? Microsoft. You know, Macs apparently don't have viruses. Microsoft filled with them? Why is Microsoft just, well, we don't know how to create a PC that is not 
continually infected that needs to be cleaned out all the time. But Max, don't? Okay. Uh, Hill Delgao. Hill Delgao. Dilgo. Whatever. Okay. I, I really... You, uh, Texas, do you realize that you have now radically changed? <laughs> uh, it's like, okay, um, and I have a lot of subscribers in Texas who have said that stack and packs are going up all over, and a whole lot of people are moving in, Californians in particular. You apparently, this was November 7, 2018. This woman was elected. I don't believe she was actually elected. I think there was massive corruption taking place in Texas that led to a blue wave. Democrats now control every countywide post and swept all of the county's 59 judicial races. Really? Okay, um, Lena Hidalgo. So, she um, was the big upset, apparently, in Harris County. She won. She was elected as a county judge. Now, are these judges in Harris County in Texas, are they actual judges? I don't know, um, because we didn't have uh, county judges. Unless they're actual judges. Um, because, well, 27 years old and... She's a graduate student, community advocate, who returned to Houston from, I guess, uh, Stanford. She was actually born in Columbia, and she is, um, she just returned to Houston. It's... Here, born in Columbia in 1991, immigrated with her parents and brother to Houston in 2005, earned a degree in political science from Stanford in 2013. She later enrolled in a joint master's program at Harvard University and law program at New York University, which she said she'll now put on hold. So did she actually, did she just enroll? Um, and now she's putting that on hold? You know, generally when people have these kinds of goals and they enroll in a joint master's program at Harvard and NYU, I can't imagine because Harvard, NYU, well, the proximity, it's not close. So I don't know how that could have, uh, what was the master's program? I guess that was at Harvard. The law program, was it NYU? Okay, or uh, New York University Law School? Um, it's not clear. It doesn't look like she attended any classes. So you guys in Harris County elected a 27-year-old who got a graduate degree in political science. She had no experience, but you decided to elect her? See, I think something's going on. It's kind of like this Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Tending bar, waiting tables, Less than a year ago, 
And voila, she's on the main stage. She's like the star in Congress. I said this, the first video I posted with Arcasio cortez that was uh, included in that video, I said, people are behind this woman. There is a curtain that you don't see who's behind it. They're giving her the money. They like the face. They decided, personable, hey, she could win millennials. And she is the poster girl for the United Nations Agenda 2030. That is the Green New Deal. So, because she can talk somewhat, um, there are, she's got handlers, okay? This woman had no, no experience to be a congresswoman, a bartender. This woman, too, okay? A Democrat. Um, I smell corruption. I'm sorry, I just smell corruption here. That has taken place in Harris County. 19 women were elected as county judges, and I don't know how many county judges you have in Harris County, but it was quite an upset. If, if this woman was elected, you in Texas have no clue what the hell you are doing. You have no clue what you are doing because I think you just handed Texas over to the United Nations. I think you just handed Texas over to the United Nations to now accelerate Agenda 2030 in your area. And these Democrats, the blue wave, you know, that were elected in November. Yep, Houston, you've got a big, big problem. You know, here she says, people don't think the experience we've had has been working. They're ready to get something else. You're sure going to get something else. You are sure going to get something else. Well, listening to her speak, you, it's quite clear this woman is really uh, not very well educated and she's got, she, it's like she doesn't even know what to say. You yourself possess that data? Do you have the knowledge? Right now, we, I've been told from the folks that are collecting it and analyzing that it is uh, standard, it is nothing over the normal. You'll have to trust the county judge who is trusting someone else. because. And she can lie just like the rest of them. God, I'm so sorry that you have to deal with this, guys in Houston. It's really... Pathetic. The fire at a chemical plant intensified overnight. All right, I want to show you a live picture now at the ITC plant from Sky 2 this morning. We've learned the fight to contain this fire is expected to last well into tomorrow. Channel 2's Vincent Crivelli joining us now live with the very latest developments on this firefight. Vince, good morning. Andy and Haley, good morning. This fire grew and intensified overnight. Take a look behind me. You can see the flames shooting up into the darkness, lighting up the sky. This is a light. All right, listen, you want to know why the, why the fire intensified overnight? Oh, the water pressure. The water pressure. Uh, well, yeah, they just didn't have enough water pressure. The firefighters, really. So everything is breaking down and there was nothing, they couldn't, there was no extinguishing the fire up until I think 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. All right, <laughs> look, you have the air monitor that goes down for hours. It's not collecting any data. 
and then you have your official saying, well, yeah, uh, we do, you know, shut them down for maintenance. You have this elected official, Hill Delgado, who, well, uh, yeah, well, I'm, I'm getting my information from ITC, and they say that, you know, the standard, it's not over, uh, I'm sorry, guys, you know, wow, man, I can't believe what Americans are putting up with. I cannot. Mayor Turner, Harris County Judge, Hill Delgado, mm, addresses concerns over ITC fire. As chemicals continue to burn at the ITC tank farm, community leaders addressed concerns of people downwind. And it's really just this contrast of, you know, you see the plume, but the monitors are showing that the levels are fine. We're told air quality monitors are stationed all over the area, some at fixed sites and some mobile. Officials say the readings show the air is safe to breathe. But there are three ways you can see the results yourself. First, okay, so you're going to go to these sites. You're going to go to ITC. That's right. You're going to go to ITC and read their data? I don't think so. So, this was today. As far as I know, this was the last press conference with the ITC spokeswoman. And you can listen to the whole thing, but just listen to a few of the questions and answers. Right there. The water that's going into the chip panel is facing from the fire pipe. All the water going into the dike area as well as foam. We've got booms down. We've got a third party contract here. Been cleaning it up at this time. We have not had any reports of foam or machine going into the outfall, which will then go into the chip channel. We're also looking at sampling. We've been sampling around the block every hour for pH, COD, and other things. And we have PCQ working with us to help analyze this. Next question. We continue to monitor the air quality. We're working with CTAC. We're also working with EPA, and they actually put a plane through the balloon the last couple days. They're still within safe levels. So we continue to monitor as our call in the the EPA and the CCQ are not on the All the chemicals that we have in our tank form plus the I have to stop this. The question was, how can you um, uh, trust these agencies that are monitoring the air when they're hired by you, they're on your payroll. And all he says is, they're not on our payroll. So when you have a question asked about payroll, that suggests an employee. Did they hire this air agency to monitor the air? this agency to monitor the air. That is, look, when money is involved, money talks. And you need to get an independent agency that's not paid by ITC to monitor the air. And one that is not contracted with the city of Houston or Texas. Where do we find honest, honest people who will give you, you know, the an accurate assessment of what is now in the air in Houston? Don't you think it's a little odd that the air monitors went down just as this fire 
is is spreading all over Houston. So it has a history of polluting the environment. Are you going to trust any of these ITC spokespersons? Are you going to trust? any data coming out of ITC. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. So how do you get independent air monitoring? monitoring? Well, you guys in Houston, you need to look into it and uh, get these people on it. You know, they are claiming that the air is perfectly fine. Well, I have to tell you, something is not right when you're looking at this kind of smoke, a chemical plant, you know, it has, I think it still has five barrels on fire. This is not good. And I am so sick of the horseshit that you get from officials, spokespersons of corporations, of, you know, when it concerns public health, you should be getting the truth. When do we ever get the truth? So, the data monitors, the air monitors, well, well sometimes they go down for maintenance. They were down. So no data about the air was collected for a long period of time. Then water pressure. Oh, too low. Can't fight the fire for hours and hours. And then they finally restore the water pressure. You got the foam that is toxic to the environment, leaches into the ground, leaching into groundwater, contaminating water supplies. But yeah, that looks really just swell. Yeah, breathing that, no problem. Wow, guys. I don't know. I don't know, you know, how to, um, how to fight all of these lying, despicable people. Um, and you know what? You just had a real influx of Democrats in your government. And I understand, yep, yeah, Democrats, Republicans, they work together. But this tells me that something is wrong with Texans. They have an awful lot of control now. And I do believe that the Democrats, you know, especially these women like Ocasio-Cortez and Hildalgo, Hildalgo, uh, they don't have experience. So what the hell are they put in these positions? Do you really think that, oh, they just came out of nowhere and those in Harris County elected this woman who's 27 years of age, put her in a position of power and they weren't thinking. They just said, well, we need something different so we're going to elect this woman. I feel like I feel like your elections were corrupted. Because this is not, you know, the Texas I know as an outsider knowing Texas. Something has gone wrong. 
All right. Love to hear from you guys in Texas, especially Harris County. And I hope to God that this doesn't turn out to be really toxic. I hope that you all stay well as well as you can. Oh, bye guys. Good night. Um, farewell. I, yeah, all links below. Ciao.